Hey Finale fans, so today we're going to be talking about rest and note division in the time signature 12-8. Um, this can be carried over to any compound time signature, but today we'll be specifically discussing 12-8 in this example. Um, something that I've found in the past uh, when I'm working with the time signature tool is I'll accidentally select uh, the wrong time signature uh, that's uh, in, in the uh, selector tool. So let me go ahead and show you, and I'm, I'm sure that uh, if you're watching this video, you've had this issue yourself. If you have a dotted quarter note, sometimes in the 12-8 time signature, if you put that guy in there and for some reason es escape out of the measure or just want one dotted quarter note in the measure, it'll bring up all of these uh, just eighth rests. It, it doesn't group them into the dotted quarter rests. And that's really annoying, especially if you're gonna have to go in later and delete those and make that a rest, so on and so forth. Um, rest, it's just not efficient, it's not effective, and it's not fun to do. So let me show you a quick tip um, to be sure that you're selecting the right 12-8 time signature. We're gonna go ahead and clear all those items. Go ahead and select your time signature tool, double click on this measure. You'll see right up here uh, that it shows 12-8, that's the time signature we want, but it's divided with at 12 actual eighth notes, all flagged, they're not, they're not uh, beamed or uh, grouped into dotted quarter rests. So what we actually want to do is come back here. Let's find our four time signature. Um, so let's say you're on four four. What you want to do is just click to the right of this bottom, the beat duration, and it will bring you to the 12 eight where the quarter note, where, where the eighth notes are grouped into a dotted quarter note for the beat. So we'll go ahead and select OK. And then if we try entering a dotted quarter note, there we go, it groups uh, the remaining six eighth notes into a dotted half rest. So that's how you can, you can group your rests and uh, your, your notation more easily when doing a compound time signature. If you have any other questions regarding any finale tips or wanna see a specific video, let me know down in the comments. Hope you enjoy.